So last year, me and Jesse went to Madagascar. We had an amazing trip, we spent about six days there. When we came back, we had planned to publish the vlog, but life got super busy, hard drives got misplaced, hard drives crashed. Now, almost a year later, we are dusting off my old travel journal, recovering a lot of the footage, and piecing together what was an amazing once-in-a-lifetime adventure. This, my friends, is how I ate my way through Madagascar. I think on the diseases, right? This is by far the coolest thing I've done. <laughs> Whew, here we go. Very good. So we made it into the capital in Antinabaro and we traveled for about two days to get here. And it's funny, we just spent one day here and now we're flying out to another part of the country to Morandam. We're gonna start our adventure there. The crazy thing is that we thought it was gonna be super hot here because they kept telling us to bring sunblock, things like that. We arrived to a very chilly 50 degrees. This morning it was 46. And for a Texan, oh my gosh, you know, I was not prepared for the cold, but it's so beautiful. The people are beautiful, the weather's beautiful, and I just can't wait to get this adventure started. One more flight to go, and then all the fun's really gonna begin. So next stop, more in so Morandava is a town off the west coast of Madagascar. It's a large coastal city decorated with clear blue skies and sandy beaches. It's a common destination for tourism, for those wanting to go fishing, boating, and also to see the avenue of the Baobabs. First thing we're going to do at Morandava is actually have a meal. I'm really excited because first off, I'm really hungry, but I can think of no better way to welcome oh, anyone wow. to any place than to welcome them into your home. And so they have prepared this beautiful meal. So we're having fish. Fish is really typical here because we're on the coast, wow. but also rice and with three different types of fish. Come on, tell me. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got the fish with the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, yeah. Tomato sauce. And we got some fried fish. It's very typical. And then we have some boiled fish here. Yeah. And this is a very typical lunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, so we're about to have this amazing food with these beautiful people. Thank <laughs> you. Here <laughs> in Marandaba. Tomato, a lot of, some oil. What kind of oil is that? Oh my god, this one's wrong. Let's see if I can guess. Onions? Have you tried this one? I think you'll like this one more. This I one's really good. One, this one is the. <laughs> <laughs> Sauce. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. I think this one's my favorite. Ah, oh, yeah. This yeah, one's my yeah, favorite. Yeah, I told you. I'll say it. This yeah. one, I like this one more. Uh huh. Hello. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this one. What type of chili is this? So, yeah. 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 This is Inti Piment or what? What is it? Chili with ginger. It's like a, oh, I love ginger. Pili pili. We call it pili pili. Pili pili. Let's see if it's a. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, it's for. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's for. Oh, oh, oh. It's for. Oh, 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 it's for. It's hot like habanero. <laughs> habanero pepper. <laughs> Uh -huh. Very spicy. It tastes really good. A nice salty, savory um, flavor to it. My mouth is salivating, partly because it's so hot. But, um, oof, yeah, got some kick to it. That's good. Yeah, rice, water. Water. Yeah, rice water. Rice water. <laughs> good for digestion. Yeah, good for digestion. <laughs> Bottoms up. Cheers. Mm, cheers. Okay. <laughs> uh, see, it's not as clear. Uh -huh. it's, it, the rice mm -hmm. has been cooked in it. Hey, c'est bon, uh, it's nice, it's nice. It's really good. How do I say yeah, really it? Yeah, really good. C'est bon, c'est bon. C'est bon. C'est bon. Oui, c'est bon. Et pas de tina mola m'insiste. Ne nara na wa sa na triste. Te modi te ripple me na we. Fitie, fitie. Ci sere sa capitie. Pour la belly stuff, but to go out right now and go fishing with some of the locals here in Morandava. Again, fish is one of the major foods here that's right here by the coast. Where they do this? They did. They did. Look, Kevin. 
Kevin. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin. the white net it was like uh, around 200 meters long I've never fished like this before so I asked them how do we know when we caught something you just put the net out there to buoys the buoys are made of these used oil cans that they just float on top of the water and after 20 minutes we leave it in there and we go and we grab the two buoys and we come in and we just see what's inside the net these guys are so much fun I love their energy and their positivity. I just wish that I could, could like communicate. But what shines through is just their positivity and their personality and that we can connect going. It doesn't really matter what language you speak, people recognize joy and happiness. And I recognize that in them and they see that in me too. And so we're able to bond. So with that, say bon. Which one sign did you? You can help. I get it. was good? Pumping. Ooh, yeah, I was gonna oh, tell him, I was gonna guess it, I knew it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, it smells really good. Oh, here comes the wife. It smells so good. Oh, now I wanna taste it. Now I gotta nice. Sua, nice. Good. Sua. Sua means good. Sua, Sua means good? Yeah. Oh, and then putting the charcoal in there, it kind of keeps a constant heat. So you can cook all day. This is like the original. This right here is the original Instapot. <laughs> this is the real Instapot. Oh, thank you. It's pumpkin. Oh my God. All right, Joe. If I come back, tell her to make this. If I come back, tell her to make this one. Tell her that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, we just came from the beach and did that little impromptu cooking session. That just means so much. It's one thing when people invite you over to your house, but when people give out of their lack, it just means so much more. You know what I mean? Like when, when, when they don't have much, but even then not having much, they, they want you to enjoy with them. It just does something to your heart, just like, just like none other. And I just love that spirit of people. And I love that spirit about them. God bless oh them. God. God bless that spirit. And that's the, that's the type of person that I want to be, regardless. I tell you what, your people here are beautiful. Day one in Morandava was amazing. I remember driving back to our cabin the first night and we got our first glimpse of the Bao Bao. So we decided to stop and pull over and take some photos. And as we got out, all these children from the nearby village quickly came running out of pure curiosity. So we raced and then ate candy together. Every time they said bon bon, which means candy, my heart melted. It was just nice to see the kids so joyful um, about enjoying a small piece of candy. This is going to be an adventure because you're going to see this city boy get into something that, like, I don't normally do. But when in Madagascar, on Mandava, they do what they do. So today we're gonna go hiking. Alright, so I'm uh, uh, Claude. Uh, yeah. Claude. <laughs> Claude. Claude. So this is Claude. He's gonna be showing us around the, the Karindi Reserve today. We're gonna go see some lemurs and some fossa. And fossa, if you don't know, fossa is the um, is the main predator of the lemur. Uh, je suis Kevin. Kevin. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> y'all know I spoke that French, did y'all? You know that. So. First time seeing a lemur, I'm only whispering because it's sleeping. He responds to me. You see that? <laughs> look, I called him. Look, at it. watch, watch, watch. We saw a white one. It's like this really white, bushy tail. It's like the ones from the cartoon in the movie Madagascar. Did you lose it? It's right above us. I can't do this now. Can you do the sound again? <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna attract them. We're gonna start coming over here to you. <laughs> he just called it down, and uh, she's right here. He, she's right here. Yeah, I have water. O open up my bag. Open up my bag. 
Here, I'm on. She will drink. She will drink it. She will drink. Lick. She will lick it. She will lick it. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. She won't bite me, right? No, no. It's in front of you now. It's in front of you. Okay. I don't want to be scared. Come here, buddy. Right. This is another. Okay. Hold on. There. So. Oh. He is all about it. He pulled my. Hey. You gonna do this? He pulled my arm. He pulled his hand. He pulled my arm. This is by far the coolest thing I've done. Thank God the diseases, right? And they just went through 32 ounces of water. So what is my excuse for that freaking water? <laughs> they love it. Put the windows up now, because we've got to cross that river over there. We're on their way to go to the ferry. This is the ferry. Dog, do you see it moving as a thing? So, the water is moving too. And if you don't do it, time it correctly, you could actually miss it. And if you miss it, I don't even know what happens. It's just, <laughs> you kind of, you got to just stuck. We're here waiting for the ferry, but look at the sand. It's like glowing, it's glistening as if it's like silver or metallic inside of it. Do you see this? I'm not sure if you could pick it up with the camera, but it looks like there's almost gold in the sand. Mm -hmm. Look how shiny, there it is. Look how shiny it is. Wow. It's almost glistening. <laughs> now, if the cars can make it, I'm pretty sure I can too, so it'd be a shame if I'm the one who uh, slips up and falls. <laughs> You know, that was our driver. That's all he needed was just back up, boom. Is you one? Yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely refreshing, especially after being out there in the hot sun. That's for, for sure. So long. And coconut is coconut wherever you are in the world, but let me see. There's a difference. Oh my god, good. it's very good. It's so refreshing. It hit like the spot. <laughs> Alright, so once you get done drinking the you know, the juice, you break it open and get to the meat. And then he carved out this part right here on top as a spoon. <laughs> and you just look, oh my god, look how soft and fleshy that is. Mm. Mm. It is so fresh. It's a lot, oh my god. Very, very, it's, look at that, it's almost like gel-like, jelly-like. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And this is an amazing and refreshing way to survive the, the extreme heat. I am, from the lack of water. It's very hydrating. Mm. It's grub time. The place is called Mad Madlibu. And I was thinking mad beef, and when you say mad beef and to, to an American, it's just, that's not a good sign. Madagascar beef, mad zebu. Trying to pick out a food that's maybe like a little more typical Malagasy, so we're gonna get the grilled shrimp, this one, the, the duck breast, the zebu, this one. Okay. The only thing we had this morning was some bread. <laughs> and it's almost 2 p.m., so bon appetit. Next up, Bikopaka. Travel between cities took hours because the roads were pretty rough. But the plus side was seeing more of the country, so we spent a lot of time in the car. As we passed villages, kids would run alongside the car asking for bone bone. We always obliged.
What we weren't prepared for, though, was the impact of deforestation on the biodiversity and the beautiful picturesque landscape that we were truly enjoying. Like out of nowhere, deforestation for miles and miles. A combination of slash and burn agriculture, charcoal and peanut production for villages, and more are among the major threats to biodiversity and climate change. Fewer trees means less carbon dioxide is absorbed and it just stays trapped in our atmosphere. And what's even more saddening is the impact on wildlife, like the friendly lemurs. They could be at risk of becoming extinct. And it was clear that if aggressive action is not taken, that the impact of this could reach far beyond the biodiversity and begin to impact the beautiful Malagasy way of life that I had come to admire. Day three, uh, just got up here in Bikupaka. I want to show y'all where we stayed last night because it's just this beautiful, like little like resort in the middle of uh, of the village. Let me show you. Beautiful. It is a really cool right now, 60, 65 degrees. And it's just pure life. So. Excited to get the day started. About to go and grab some grub. And then first stop, big singing. So this is what it's like actually driving in the car. I've been doing a lot of this. The terrain is not so smooth, of course. We're just here so everyone has a four-wheel drive car. But like this round of the day. Back and forth, back and forth. First time putting on this before for rock climbing. So with the big singy, there's a massive bridge that we're gonna try to cross. That I'm gonna <laughs> I'm facing my fears today, and I thought it was just gonna be just a really just like a nice peaceful stroll until he brought out this harness. I'm like, oh, it's actually like serious. It's actually getting real. Okay, make sure it's tight. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Famous last words. <laughs> How do you say? Let's go. How you say? Allez pas. Allez pas. Allez pas. This is the fun part. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually a hiker now because look, they've got the little cords here you gotta clip onto or hold onto. And we just hiked up all this part. It's not a seamless one, so yeah. Let's do this. Watch me hike. I'm hiking fools. This is like a video game. <laughs> oh man, this is so beautiful. Wow. You gotta, is this still rolling? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be a, a a video selfie. I want you to see what I'm looking at. All the way up. Oh wow. All the way up. We're going all the way up there. If I was once scared of heights, this right here is sobering me up because look at that. <laughs> look at all this. And with the clip of, clipping on each step of the way. I'm not gonna talk about this now. I'm gonna wait till I get up to the top, but this is a really big moment for me because I'm not the best with heights. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Let's just go. <laughs> okay, now this is the big test. This is the big one. Would you do this? Whew, here we go. Let's go. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh 
my gosh, my heart is racing. It's like my heart is right here in my lungs. <laughs> I can feel my heartbeat as I as I talk. And <laughs> okay, let's get <laughs> let's go. All right, so that was the hard part. The you know the hard part. We still have to climb down, but oh my gosh, just that feeling of exhilaration, <laughs> crossing that, facing my fears head on, and. <laughs> I'm still getting just because I've never done anything like that before. And I don't like to think about things that I'm scared about because then I'll just be in, be in my head. And so it was just, just keep walking one foot in front of the other. And I'm so glad I did it. Amazing feeling. The big singy. I did it. So from the very top, now we're at the very bottom. Now we're going through this cave. It's really cool seeing what was underneath what we we're on top of above so now that we're here on the ground we're able to kind of explore inside of the caves that these limestones have created it looks like they're almost man-made as if they're different hallways and this is leading to another room another room <laughs> and you could tell the texture of this the outside of it this was once covered in water so it's kind of like an under underwater uh, playground or an, or an aquarium if you will there are bats everywhere in this cave and i'm freaking out Jesse, huh. I'm, I swear, hold on. Go ahead. Oh, you know. Uh, so, I know this is rock, but it looks a lot like 100% uh, uh, lean ground turkey. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So like I told you guys said, first we go down, and then we come up and out. We made it. I made it. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feels so good to finally be, be finished. Feel so grateful to be healthy and to be able-bodied because I didn't know I was supposed to go on a hike today. <laughs> Had no idea. I thought I was just gonna go up to the top, take some photos of the, of the nice thingy, and then leave. But no, part of being healthy is about creating memories. And the good thing about a memory is that you can create your own bank for it. So if I'm feeling down one day, I can reach back into my memory bank and pull out this amazing memory of when I was up on top of the big singy and I could look out over all of Morandava, um, just miles and miles of just beauty and just the people here. That's the type of wellness that I'm trying to build for myself. It just this collective memory bank of these amazing moments that makes me feel good and blessed to be alive. Oh, my tongue. Here you go, you got it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>